That smells like your mom. What's up, savages? My name's Tyler, and we're gonna do a Wildland Firefighter boot review. Oh yeah, butter. It's April, pretty much May, and you're late to the game if you're trying to get boots. But I got you. So, let's get after it. You've got the Rolls Royce, AKA the JKs. You've got the Danner Tacticals, which I like. Don't tell anyone, but you've got the Chippewas. And I really like the Chippewas. They're just not technically compliant, but they work. All right, let's talk about Danners. Danners, super comfortable, super affordable. You can get them at pretty much any boot barn. Uh, that's where I got these. They break in really well. I mean, they don't take much and they're gonna be just like you got them. I mean, they form well, they, they wear well. The only problems I had, I had to replace the laces because the laces broke. Um, they don't have replaceable tread. So if you can see, I wore the tread off of these uh, halfway through the season. Um, with them being flat, it does make them harder for hikes. It'll put a little more strain on those calves, those Achilles, um, and on those steeper, gnarlier hikes, you'll feel the burn because you don't have that heel to kind of compensate for the grade. Call me daddy, motherfucker. <laughs> Let's talk Chippewas. Chippewas were my second boot that I got last season, um, mainly for the heel. Uh, they were affordable. They were actually cheaper than my Danners. Again, got these from Boot Barn. Um, I was able to get away with these because they look like every other wildland boot out there. However, if you get caught wearing these, you will get busted because they don't meet the wildland standards as far as safety goes. Um, these are, again, an 8-inch leather boot, Vibram sole, which is important, as well as having this heel. Let me put this heel up so you can see it. This heel is rather aggressive, right? I mean, it's a it's a gnarly heel. These, these took a while to break in. Um, that being said, once they were broken in, they helped on those steeper hikes significantly. Um, having that heel, focus! Having that heel with the chip wall really comes in handy. Again, uh, any boot with a heel when it comes to the steep hikes that we go through is really going to be a friend. However, if you're not used to working in a boot with a heel, 16 hours on a heel, it's going to destroy your feet. So you got to start wearing these before the season. you got to get in some hikes before the season. Um, otherwise, you're just a glutton for punishment. You're going to destroy your feet. I'll show you a picture. Now, what I truly recommend, if you have the money and you can do it, uh, I definitely recommend, and this is just my take and my opinion, get yourself two pairs of boots. Why? Two is one and one is none. And what I mean by that is too many times people kind of skimp on their boots um, and you will see dudes have blowouts in their boots all the time. Boots fall apart, boots get holes. I mean, you're walking through fire, so they just get mangled. Having two boots, what happened for me was there were days where I would wear these and my feet would just be completely obliterated. So I would switch to my flats and it would save me for that roll. And it would just, it would make, it would make the suck not suck as much because I was able to find a little bit of comfort in what we do. Questions, put them down in the comments. All right. So for the 2022 season, I went with custom JK boots, uh, went down to the Reading location, had them fitted, had them sized, had them completely dialed in for my feet and my feet alone. Okay, does is you're able to replace the sole, right? So instead of having to buy another boot, I can just replace the sole at the end of the seat. Quality is insane. I mean, you can just tell these are handcrafted leather boots. Yeah. If you've got the money, JK's all day. The difference between these, and if you can see, the toes on these, right? Uh, this is a leather boot that's gonna form to your feet and fit like a glove, where this is kind of just, it is how it is. When it comes to the narrowness or tightness of the boots, I definitely enjoy the Danners because the Danners had more space and just more room for my feet to move around. And on, on that high country, steep country, you're gonna like that. Whereas, that's my opinion. Whereas these are so form fitting that uh, my big toe would often go numb during our hikes and just during our normal work days. So if you're looking for comfort, Danner all day. If you're looking for 
performance on a budget, Chippewas, but be careful, be careful. This was able to help you in your purchase. And if you got questions, put them down in the comments. Uh, like this video, subscribe. Uh, the more you subscribe, the more you like, the more these videos get out, and the less I got to be in your mom's DM for a cash app and all that other stuff. And uh, just makes life a little easier.